Hey everyone, just a quick update. Um, last episode I kind of put Nidorino for Nero. It's a little picture. And I meant to put a Nido King, so I'm real sorry about that. And I'll do better next time. Alright, so we're back. Got Zack again. Don't know why though. Cause... cause I'm the good luck charm. Yeah, sure. Hey, who got you, uh, King? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> You evolved him and gave him the Moonstone, yeah. Big deal. Yeah, and you lost three Pokemon. <clears throat> oh, so I looked it up, and one of the rules you can do is to make it to where we can't catch duplicates. Do we want to go by that rule? If it, if it is a rule, we can't do it. Well, it's an optional rule that some people do to make it harder. Oh. Uh, it's your call, it's your overall. Well, yeah. I'm just... Well, we, we have a 100% chance of catching... Uh, Spiro, if we catch, where are you going? Where, where am I supposed to go? Down. Oh, south, yeah. We have a 100% chance of catching Spiro if, uh, you gotta go through that house again, the dig house. Um, if we... Oh. I mean, we have two routes, both of them have Survivor, or not Survivor, uh, <laughs> Arbok and Spiro on it. I mean, they're pretty know, much the I same know. thing. I know, And then, so, uh... Yeah. Wait, yeah, don't do that. I always end up... You can't. I found out you can't go that way yet, so... But this is the route where we can catch, um... Wanna go in the... Yeah. 100% chance we'll catch Meowth. That's the only one. I would just suggest that we, uh... Oh. Probably put in Punish. Yeah. Either that or just do Leech Seed just so it kills it slowly. You might- you can just run from this if you don't feel like battling. Wait, I mean, you are gonna kill this though, right? Uh oh. Perfect. Mm. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, I think switching. Uh, <laughs> just put Nero in, finish him off. Yeah. I think when we run in- or just run, yeah. When we run into Meowth, just try and get Meowth. I mean... Oddish Uh... Okay. Oh, sweet. Uh, no, I would do- yeah, okay, Leech Seed, or Poison Powder. I'll do Leech Seed. Oh, they're both gonna kill him, no way. We'll just do Poison Powder so that we have a higher chance. It, it does it by 50%, I think, when you have it in the stats effect. Okay. And then, um... I mean, if he's gonna keep lowering your attack, you could do tackle and wouldn't kill it. That's critical though, so maybe not. Maybe just put in Oddish just to do weaker attacks. Because I don't want a critical hit, you know? Like, if you, a crit will kill him. But his only attacks are sweet sound and absorb. Absorb will be fine. Okay. Although, I think he might have Bite because he's level 10. But he keeps doing Growl for some reason. Yeah, yeah, bite. Which will be good though, because we, uh... We need to go. Yeah, like seriously bad, because if we run to Psychic, we're in trouble. I would say after this poison, just throw the Pokeball. Yeah. Pokeball. Pokeball. Yeah, here we go. Yay! Mm -hmm. I was gonna think of some like creative name, but then I realized in the anime, Meowth is literally just called Meowth. It's not like, <laughs> you know, it's not like James or, or whatever. Uh, I was thinking I would call him like Hope or something. What are you gonna call him? I was wondering if Meowth, that's... I don't oh, that's true. Know. Or another... I was thinking of like Hope or Luke or something along like Star Wars because he's like our only hope at this point. But you can come up with something if you have one. Anakin. Anakin. <laughs> oh wait, what? No, Anakin's like the bad guy. He saves the day at the end of the last movie. Yeah. <laughs> Spoilers. Who's this guy? 
Skywalker, okay. Even though he can't fly. Skywalker, there we go. Skywalkers. With a Z, because we're edgy. Oh my gosh. Okay. We're, uh... <laughs> oh. oh, wait, someone, someone's injured. Or someone's poisoned, that's right. Oh yeah. Oh, he's poisoned. <laughs> gosh, what if we killed him after we just caught him? That would have been really bad. Only one, oh god. I think we should go back since we, uh... Do you want to put Craptastic in the daycare center just so we have, like... More room? Well, not more room, but just, like, he keeps training. Because we're not going to use him. He's, like, our backup, um... He's, like, our backup, backup, backup. No, well, he's our backup lame if something really gets bad. True. So we'll just put him in there, and then... If we get really far in the game... Oh, yeah. And then, like, later on, we'll just remember about him and be like, Oh, yeah, craptastics in the daycare. <laughs> and watch, he's, like, level 50, because we forgot. What are you doing? Does he just show up in there? No. No, but oh wait wait, you don't have to go back to the the Pokemon Center. If you just put them in the PC and then take them back out, they'll heal. So you don't have to run all the way back and heal. I, I just forgot about that. I'm, I'm actually serious on that. Watch. You can literally just... Wait, what are you doing? You don't have to close it. You literally just place them and pick them back up. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then they'll be healed. I don't know why they did that in the earlier game. Just check. But yeah. See? Alright, yeah, so go in that path. This is where I was talking telling you about. When you said iced tea, this guy's like, oh I'm thirsty. And you give him I think you give him an iced tea or something. I think. I don't remember. You can just run through here, there's no trainers or anything. That's lame. It's just the underground path. It's like perfect opportunity for trainers. Yeah. He's right in the strong word and letter. Oh wait, what? Yeah, you need the item finder though, That's to find them. Um How strong are things here? This is a new route, so you can't get stuff here. Probably like level fifteen. So, I think it's the same things as the route before, though. Although, I can check my, uh, my Pokedex. Scratch, brown, and bite. Yeah, I mean, that's not bad, though. Put them up front. Yes. There should be some- there are some trainers on this route, though. Yeah, Move that toward you. Z. Yeah. Because you like to talk lower. Yeah. Hmm. Well, Bite's not his type, that's the only problem. Oh. Uh, Scratch would be probably better, honestly. Okay, never mind. He's really weak. Weak. Mm hmm. Alright, let me check. Uh, I'm checking the Pokedex to see what we can get here. Also known as my phone. Oh wait, nope, not that rough. It's yeah. Gen three. So the things you can catch on this route are wow, the same as the route above. Nice. So basically, do we want to do the non-duplicate rule, or do you want to just go ahead and get a Pidgey, considering? There's nothing we can catch on this route anyway. If it's an optional rule, it's your call. Um... See, I didn't... I've never... It's just... Oh wait, there was a thing over there. There was a berry over there. Did you see that? Right there. Um, I've... It's only an optional rule. It's not one that we set at the beginning, though. Alright, okay. But wait, wait, wait. Actually, we can catch a Spiro instead. We just have to go, um... To Vermilion City south of here. So you can fight the trainers not, but we'll, we can just go first and then come back. You just have to go around them, so like go right there. I think you're only obligated to fight one of them. Yeah, go around him. 
and then go all the way to the left, and then walk just right there, and only that guy will challenge you. Oh. Okay. He's still gonna challenge you, but... Huh? Can you talk to me? Actually, no, you walk over me. Yeah, he did. Uh, put in, uh, what's his face? You just do rock to him, I guess. Honestly, Nero we can still use for this gem, we'll just have to teach him dig. We can get a rock team and get dig if we need to. Um, wait, what, what gym is this one? Uh, electricity. It's electric. Go tap X. Oh my god. I don't think it works. Oh, wow, wow. It's on the Oh. Yeah! Woo! I'll just double kick him. That should that shouldn't yeah, that's it. If that doesn't finish him off, I, I'd actually be legitimately surprised. Okay. So on the route to the left of here. Yep. Or to the right of here, sorry. You go we go down. This is Vermilion City. So we need to talk to everyone in here because someone gives us the Versus Seeker. So maybe that guy's the fishing guru, so go to the house over there. He's just the old rod? Yeah. So we could catch a magic carp in this city. Or we could wait until we get the good rod and come back and catch something much better, like a Gyarados or a Shelter. I think we should do that. Yeah, because I don't want to have two weak Pokemon that we have to train up, you know? Yeah. I don't know where the first Seeker is in the city, but try the Pokemon Center, maybe. Someone in the town gives you it. Maybe it's that lady right there. Yeah. You know what that is? We can't do it though. Yeah, you can. You can oh, never mind. I, I totally brain farted. I'm sorry. So now we just need to find a rich a trainer that gives us a lot of money and then just rebattle him over and over. And because that's what it does. If you go near a trainer, that you can rebattle them. Just so you know. All right. Yeah. So the route to the right. We can actually catch two Pokemon. There's Diglett Cave, which has Diglett's in it, and Dugtrio's, obviously. But that's the only thing you can find. Which we could use either one of them. Yeah. I mean, we have another ground type, but still, like, at this point, we really need anything besides just poison. And then the route to the right, there are Drowsies, but we have to be lucky, because we can either hit Spiro or, um, or Arbok. Well, we want Spiro. I know, but we don't need an Arbok. We have too many poisons. So, if you want to take that risk first... Oh. In there. How to teach you, like... No, but talk to that old man. He gives you the, the thing to get the bike. You can just... Oh, I'm sure. oh. He just keeps talking, then he goes, Oh, thanks for listening to me. Here's a bike thing. Literally, that's what he says. I kept you waiting. Thanks for hearing me out. I want you to have this. And then you can just take that back up to the last city that we were yeah, at, yeah. obviously. Oh, my Pikachu is twice as cool as that one. <laughs> yeah, sure it is, kid. Is that one? Which one? Exactly, I don't even know. Maybe he's just talking about the one sitting there. <laughs> That's not his Pikachu. And someone brags. Brag, Brag right, right back. back. <laughs> Let's all listen to play. Okay. Yawn. That was so boring that made me yawn. That was so boring it made me say yawn. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is the lady that would- yeah. If you have a Spearow, you can get a Farfetch'd. So if we really want a Farfetch, we can go catch a Spearow in that route right to the right of here. We just need to cross our fingers and hope we hit a Spearow, not an Ekans. Because <laughs> we don't need a fourth poison type. Look up the stat differences. See what the max is for a Spearow and what the max is for a Farfetch'd. What do you mean? The max? Like their encounter rate or what? No, like see like their overall stats, like the max, what they can be. Like their attack and defense and all that. Oh, I'll tell you that our box or our box gonna be better, but No, I'm, I'm talking between like a Firo and a Farfetch'd. Oh. 
Because if I catch a spirit, I'm not gonna trade it to him if I can get a better stat to it. Yeah, but here's the thing. Hmm. The fear, the Actually no, we can't. Don't go on there yet. No no no. Oh, why'd you go on there? I didn't mean to. Can I say no? I think you can just you don't have to Okay, yeah. <laughs> I'm going on Yeah, go to the right first and get the um well, be, be careful. Just go in the this grass right here, I guess. And we'll cross our fingers, hope we don't hit in. I think that's a trainer. Uh-oh. Hopefully we can handle this guy. I just don't want to take risks. Gamer. Well, uh, what's his face can handle it. Yeah. I'm a what his face. Lame-o. Shows you how much I care about our starter. Who chose him? No, what I was gonna say is e even regardless, Zach, even if we trade to get the the Farfetch, that's the one Pokemon we picked in that area. And if that's the case, then we can't go like fishing there and get something good. So I say we always go back to every other town and fish for something new. Yeah, but I just yeah. this Vermilion City, since it's connected to the ocean and not the uh, the rivers, has better things if you. Okay. Like it has, um, Cloyster, Seedra. Ooh, Razor Leaf time. Yeah, get rid of, you know what we're getting rid of, Vine Whip. Oh, I was thinking Tackle. Well, we need it just in case we run into something that can't, like, flying or something, you know? Plus, look at the, the accuracy on it. I know. Well, it's 100. still, but just look at the power, though. I mean, it's much better, and it has a high critical hit ratio. If you want to get rid of tackle, you can. I'm just worried. Doesn't that... this also have a stab, though? Because it's. Yeah, I'm just. I'm worried that if we run into something like a bug type that we literally can't fight. I have pet. That's true. All right. I mean, I just that's really bad side coverage to have three grass types and then a. All right. Because that's our biggest issue right now is type coverage. Oh look, that tackle really makes so much against the Corsi. Yeah, but we don't need two grass types. It's just like having one weaker one for no apparent reason. And then when having... you run out of one. That's so weird. Ugh. So you're saying, if you had a Charizard, you only should just one fire attack? No, but I would have at least kept tackle for a while when instead of replacing... I would have kept it because it's at least a move that we can use against the poison. Oh! See, like if we're against a poison type like this, we have nothing to use against it if we have a. Uh... I fight. No, I'm talking if we have what's space uh, Lamo in, we have absolutely nothing to use against it because you got rid of tackle. So I didn't want to get rid of it. But anyway. Uh we're gonna have to kill him. Please don't get poisoned. Oh crap, he has two. No, he doesn't. I thought he had poison for a second, I was like, oh no. We don't need a poison type. Like, I cannot believe we ran anyone. Okay, switch him out. Talking if you give it to him as a hold item, oh, then okay, okay. yeah. Hey, I'm so glad that we have a fourth poison type. I'm just can I can I name him like like 
I snake. hate him or or something I really hate. Like call him uh, call him Steph Curry. I don't like Steph Curry. This is because he's a piece of snake. Sure. No, I just like we don't need like this was like a slap in the face. Like we could have had a drowsy or a or a Spiro. And there's even a less chance of an Ekans, and we run into an Ekans. Like... <laughs> he didn't even spell it right, I though. know. Steph Curry, whatever. Useless Steph Curry. Oh, it's just PH. Useless Steph Curry. I- I hate Steph Curry. I hate this- Now I'm not I'm talking the real one, too. But I'm talking, I cannot believe that we ran into an Ekans. Like, that that drives me insane, honestly. I, I want to freak out right now. I'm not even joking. Oh my gosh. Wait, were you about to run without healing? Yes. I ran I don't even have to do I gotta get him out of there. Unless she has pursuit and kills you. After we beat this gym, we're guaranteed a Spiro on the uh, on the next round. We are guaranteed, like, <laughs> and then we're also guaranteed after we catch that Spiro on the very next round, we're guaranteed the Voltorb. Okay. I just it really would have been nice to uh, it really would have been nice to pick up a Drowsy on this route because even Drowsy, when he becomes a Hypno, you can teach him a uh, Seismic Toss. Oh, that's the cave where you can get Diglets too. But I would go heal because they're like level 20. Okay. Oh god. So I can't believe you got rid of a uh, tackle. I actually wanted to get rid of Leech Life. I don't know why I got rid of tackle. Leech Life? You mean Leech Seed? Seed. Whatever. Yeah. That one's too good though because if we. At this point, we need it to just the, heal even. The poison every time. and the heal is a good combo. Yeah. Um, do we have anything that we can even... Give either one of them? No, but we need to teach Dig to, um... I mean, we go when we go through the cave, at the end of it, there is a flash on the other route. I hate Steph Curry. Let's become an MVP. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. What if, what if he does? Like, what if he just never dies? What if he always gets down to, like, one health? He I just, want him to he die. He just never dies. No, I do want him. I want her to die. See, cause Steph is a girl's name. Hey, Steph. I want Steph Curry to die. Go ahead and put him up front in the Diglett cave and let something use magnitude on him. That'd be awesome. Such a waste of a Pokeball. That's a waste of $200. I don't care. I am so angry that he took away Spiro. That's what he took. He took away something that would have helped us you know, it's just delaying the inevitable. He just got in the way. He's just a waste of space. Wow. <laughs> yeah, we have four. Poison, poison, poison. And we have four because we have the uh, grass poison. Yeah. Dang. That's funny. I mean, all right. Well, let's just go and dig the cave. We're gonna have another ground type, but Are, we're not ready. I have to like. Lambo can handle the Diglett. Let me check. I'll just check the cave. But I think we're okay. I can just go to this trainer's real quick. Up here. I know, I'm just saying. We will be fine. Oh, they're level 19 is the max level. We're good. Okay. <laughs> we just better hope we don't run into a Doug Trio. There's only a 10% chance, but their max level can be 29. No. No, just do it! Just do it! We had the smallest chance to get an Ekans, and we ran into an Ekans first. No, I think it was the biggest chance. I think I checked, and I was just angry because I was complaining. This is on you. We, <laughs> we lose anyone. 
We're gonna run into a Diglett. I'm telling you. Well, isn't this a surprise? Diglett's done with this long tunnel. Yeah. It goes right to Viridian City. They tell me. It does. And that's where we get Flash, so... We're, we actually, you have to go on this this cave at some point. No, just go down. It's just one giant room that leads all the way there. Check that rock. See if there's anywhere. Nope. All right. Yeah, just run around, like in this early spot here, if you want to. Or you can just run to the end because we do need flash. Here we go. And look, it's a high level. Good. All right. Now, so the only thing that would be able to handle him without dying at this point. Because if it has magnitude, it's going to be, um, Flamo. He'll be super effective on him. And super effective on Steph Curry. Which I'd actually go ahead and put in Steph Curry. <laughs> put in Steph Curry. <laughs> Fine, you don't have to. I just, I don't like Steph Curry. Are you even going to train him, or can we shun him? <laughs> oh, fine! We don't have to have it though, we have a Neto King. No, it's okay, it's okay, just put in Lamo though. I don't- we can't afford anyone to die, even if it is Steph Curry. <laughs> you can't see his face right now, but it just dropped. Oh man, this is not good. Just throw the Pokeball. You really wanna just throw it right now? Well, it, it's gonna have magnitude- fine, you do scratch, but- Or, or growl, growl, growl. We need to lower its attack as much as possible. <laughs> That's okay. At least he's not attacking us. Well, I'm gonna crawl back at you. If somebody brags, brag right back. Yeah, that that is true. How did, How he, did he scratch? He has no hands. And it was a crit, of course. All right, you need to heal him. No, because it's a crit, oh, which means it negates the fact that we've been using Growl. Oh, wow. That's what I mean, so just keep doing it. When does it learn Magnitude, though? I would... Yeah, I guess you can throw it, but I was going to say, I would heal just to be safe in case he didn't do a crit again. That was just a slap in the face. <laughs> really? Okay. Oh, thank god. Okay. We took a risk. This is a high risk, high reward. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what? What? I don't know. I just saw Onyx. Oh, is that just, oh, just in the... Pokedex, oh. yeah. Um... What do you want to call him? Digletto. <laughs> Digletto? <laughs> For some reason, that makes me think of, uh, David Letterman. <laughs> I don't know what. Can we call him Letterman? I was thinking of Haas Delgado. <laughs> oh. Well, also Jared Leto. Jared Leto. Jared. Hey, it makes sense. Like, you know those commercials, like, he went to Jared? And they're, like, it's the diamonds? Yeah. Well, we're in a cave, and... He looks nothing like Jared Leto, but alright. <laughs> Just go ahead and dig out then if we're gonna. It did. Oh man, that is lucky you didn't use it on us. But the good news is we have someone for the gym now. 
Like we will Magnitude is gonna be great. Okay. If I use Dig, it's gonna take us back to the way we came out. We came in. Yeah, know. but I'm just saying it, you don't want to risk running into something. Ooh. Okay. Because you can't run from another Diglet. That's true. That was a little risky, Zach. Oh wait. Yeah. I think this has been a long episode, so I'm gonna stop it here for now and we'll just start recording right after. Okay, bye. Alright, bye.